Hey there, fellow adventurers. They say life is one heck of a journey, and boy are they right. From the mightiest of heroes to the greenest of beginners, we all go through ups and downs. Every situation, every choice in life is like a little test, nudging us in a certain direction. That's why it's absolutely crucial to sharpen your observation skills and learn from the experience of others. Picture this. There once was a wise man chilling under a shady tree. Some curious folks came by and asked him, Hey, wise dude, how did you become so darn wise? The wise man turned, peered at them with a twinkle in his eyes, and replied, Ah, my friends, I learned from the fools. Yep, you heard that right. He observed their decision-making and actions, and made sure not to repeat their blunders. See, you can learn from both the great and the noobs in life. Now, let's talk about you. Every moment in your life is a chance for observation. It's like fast-forwarding through a video game and skipping all the unnecessary levels. By being an attentive observer, you can shave off years from your learning curve and skyrocket ahead of the pack, leaving the 99% in your dust. Remember, life is jam-packed with lessons, and it's your duty to remain a student for life. The moment you think you've mastered it all, well, that's when you stop growing. So what are some juicy life lessons and principles that most people learn a tad too late? Let's dive into eight of them, shall we? Lesson number one. Everything is temporary. The good times? Yep, they're fleeting. The bad times? They won't last forever either. When life is treating you well, soak it up like a sponge and express your gratitude. On the flip side, when the going gets tough, hang in there like a true champion. Remember, it's not the end of the world. I've seen countless people who, once they struck gold, tossed away their loved ones and started strutting around like peacocks. Silly, isn't it? They forgot that good days have an expiration date too. Even if you're swimming in money, there will still come a time when you'll need more than just cash. Stay grounded and keep a clear head. Think chess, not checkers. Lesson number two. Life isn't always fair. Cue the dramatic music. We were all dealt different cards in this game of life. Some got a shiny silver spoon while others started from scratch. Sure, you can complain and point fingers at God, your family, or the universe for not giving you the advantages you desire. But guess what? The responsibility to craft your perfect life ultimately falls on your shoulders. The life you dream of is waiting on the other side of the hardships you despise. It's like that saying goes, if you want to chase happiness, start by chasing the uncomfortable. So stop expecting and start working. Put on your big boy pants and step up to the challenge. These are the basics of true greatness. Lesson number three. The biggest risk is taking no risk. Get ready to take some notes from the most successful people out there. They didn't just sit around twiddling their thumbs and wait for success to magically appear. Oh no, they took action and made things happen. Anything worth having in life comes with a dose of risk. Let's say you spot a gorgeous woman you'd like to date. Well, you gotta muster up the courage to approach her and strike up a conversation. Sure, it can be intimidating, but playing it safe won't get you anywhere. The choice is yours. Take the risk and embrace the adventure, or shy away and settle for a mediocre life. The decision is yours to make. Lesson number four, the importance of being present. Ah, the art of living in the now. 
Some people spend half their lives daydreaming about the future, while others get tangled up in the webs of the past. Let me tell you, those places are dangerous territories to dwell in. It's great to consider your future and set goals, but don't let it overshadow your present. Use thoughts of the future as gentle nudges guiding you towards the life you envision. But don't forget to roll up your sleeves and do the work in the here and now. The same goes for living in the past. I've encountered countless people lost in the fantasy world of the good old days. Trust me, wishing for the past is the very thing that keeps you from enjoying the present. To snap back to reality, you need a purpose. Live each day with a mission in mind. Without purpose, you'll wander like a mindless zombie. Half of the time stuck in the future, and the other half of the time is trapped in the past. Lesson number five. Overthinking makes things worse. Ah, the curse of the overthinker. As we grow up, we tend to dissect every little action, obsessing over imagined slights and misinterpretations. Ever found yourself getting upset because someone didn't say goodbye to you after work? Suddenly you're convinced they despise you. It's a dangerous game that slowly eats away at your soul. Stop giving those thoughts any power. And please, don't fabricate fantasy situations in your mind. Remember, action is the antidote to overthinking. So when you find yourself sinking into that abyss, lace up your sneakers and go for a run. Or drop down and pump out push-ups until your arms give out. Lesson number six, happiness is a choice. Cue the happy dance. Happiness is a personal choice and the power to make yourself happy lies within you. The source of most of your happiness comes from within. You have control over your emotions, so don't expect someone else to swoop in and magically make your life a fairy tale. That's the biggest reason relationships often crumble. Folks come together expecting the other person to bring happiness into their lives. But that's not how it works. You gotta keep your own self happy first. Only then can a relationship truly thrive. This concept applies to every interaction in life. Take a rainy day for example. One person might jump around giddy with joy, reveling in the rain, while another curses the skies for their bad luck. See, happiness is a choice, a mindset you must master each and every day. Oh, and here's a pro tip. Consider shutting off those social media accounts. They've done more damage than good, filling your heart with envy instead of connection. Lesson number seven, do what you love and love what you do. Ah, work, work, work. It takes up a big chunk of our lives, doesn't it? So choose your path wisely. Imagine a man who adores programming. Can you picture him waking up one day and deciding to build bridges instead? Even if circumstances force him into that career, he won't excel at it. Consider your time and skills valuable. Dedicate yourself to developing the talents that will advance your career and bring you joy. Far too many people waste half their lives pursuing careers or skills that their friends adore while they secretly harbor no interest in them. If you're not passionate about the work you do, satisfaction will forever elude you, and that dissatisfaction will seep into other aspects of your life. It's time to invest in yourself. This rule also applies to your leisure activities. Engage only in pursuits that align with your purpose and mission. Lesson number eight, your mind is your best friend and worst enemy. Ah, the grand finale, your mind holds immense power. You are the captain of your own ship. Don't go blaming others for your failures or weaknesses. Take responsibility, your thinking, 
determines whether you're a winner or a loser. Train your mind to be your greatest ally, your biggest fan. When you look in the mirror, your mind should vouch for you as if it's gazing up at a role model. Become one with your mind, for it will accompany you throughout your life's journey. All successful people share this secret trait. So remember... Life is a precious gift, and it's our duty to cherish each and every day. Stay curious, remain a lifelong student, and apply these valuable life lessons to your own epic journey. Oh, and before you go, show me some love. Tap that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm work its magic and brings you more awesome content to level up. Thank you for watching. Safe travels, adventurers.